what's up. Welcome to our house. Come on in. Welcome to our living room. This is our little living space here with our, our comfy sofa over this direction. This is where we do all of our hanging, chilling, game playing, life campaigners. You know, this is where it all goes down right here. It's actually, we moved in this house in 2017. It's the only place we've ever lived together. And uh, our friend Amy we're is renting. actually, we're renting, we're <laughs> renters. <laughs> That's a great point. And, and our friend Amy found it on Craigslist. We didn't even find this place, she did it, so. Yeah, Thanks, and Amy. when I was here visiting one time, we were just called up the landlord, but we were like, hey, can we come visit? and see the place and then we saw it, we loved it. We are like, oh, this is the perfect first place to live. It was a little expensive and then- But I sweet talked her down. Yeah, we sweet talked her. And so yeah, this is our humble abode. This is it. All right, welcome to the smallest kitchen you've ever been in your entire life. What you see is what you get. Very minimal counter space, as you can see. Not much room Actually, to prep. Fun fact, these counters uh, are interchangeable. <laughs> they actually just come right off if you want yep. them to. Uh, you put, we actually have, we have the marble downstairs, but you know. Yeah, we, we didn't just, want to look too bougie when yeah. you guys came over, you know, but those are great. And then really the only two things we're proud of in this kitchen, uh, one is our fruit bowl over here. We actually stole this from a high school art class. They're doing a, you know, a whole thing on shadows and fruits. So uh, we'll get that back to them after this and then, the most prized possession in the fridge here. We like to keep this thing stocked. You know, shout out to all of our sponsors. The one, the only, Red Thunder. You can't ever go wrong there, you know. That's right, we got some Danimal smoothies, some Oh Snap pickles, some apple banana uh, fruit pouches, you know, a lot of other really good stuff. You can't ever forget the thick sliced bacon, you know? From Aldi. You gotta have a thick sliced bacon. We are all the enthusiasts. That's what we keep this place locked in with. Welcome to our guest bedroom. Uh, we like to keep it set up for any guests that may come or Everest whenever he gets to run up here. We always have it locked and loaded with some towels and Andy's mints. Uh, forever comes to stay here. Also, this is the most comfortable bed it really in is. the world. And then one more fun fact about this bed before we move on here. We actually just broke it the other day, trying to be funny on Instagram, and uh, just shattered the whole thing. But our boy Jim actually stopped by and we like uh, splinted this, is that what you'd call it? I don't know, but we fixed it, and now actually this bed is stronger than it ever was to begin with, so. One last feature to show you before we leave this floor is our Harry Potter closets. Let's go that way. This is our other guest bedroom here, the Harry Potter room. Uh, it is the smallest closet in the world. Check this thing out, you can't even stand up in it. We All go, right, we so we always know that somebody's in here when you hear a, a loud profanity yelled throughout the house because every time you come in here, you hit your head. Literally every single time. So it's like a it's like a maze um, if you're trying to get something out of here. But yeah, if we have too many people in the house, we'll, we'll put them in here to sleep. All right, we'll come on in here to the bedroom. And uh, let's be honest, as they all say, this is the place where the magic happens. Am I right? No, seriously, it is. Uh, Bailey, what was that card you pulled earlier? The seven of hearts. Seven of hearts. Exactly what I thought. That's right, friends. It's where the magic happens, I told you. Right here, right here. No, for being honest, this, this isn't even really our bed, we just kind of share it. Uh, it's Everest bed, he hangs out here all day long. This is his spot. So this TV, we got it on a <laughs> winter day when we were uh, both feeling really sad, so we went to Walmart and made an impulse buy um, because I, did, I wanted to watch TV in here but didn't want to carry the one downstairs, upstairs. Um, so yeah, here we are. Uh, we don't watch it as much as the one downstairs. Yeah, what we do, it's only my YouTube channel though. We just watch my YouTube over and over and over, which you could too in your bedroom if you just subscribe below. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the bathroom. This here is the bathroom. As you can see, these countertops are stable, thank God. And uh, we are actually members of the Aquasonic uh, Electric Toothbrush Club upon my dentist's recommendation. Shout out, Dr. Ungolert, Ungolert, I think. As I you can know. tell they're the off brand of Sonicare. But true. anyways, we're not, we're not come much. over here, I'll show you a couple of little fancy things. First of all, this, this piece right here, I found it at Goodwill and um, it was filled with really ugly fake flowers. So I cut them all down and hung that masterpiece up. But also the most important thing, come on over. Um, I like to always have my toilet paper folded in 
fancy triangles. Shout out Rockbridge. 2019 housekeeping crew. So yeah, this is the bathroom. Not much to see here. Uh, follow us and we'll take you to the next place. This is the laundry room where Preston is the least helpful in the house. <laughs> um, where we, you know, clean our clothes. We have a Chick-fil-A magnet on here. Shout out Chick-fil-A. Um, and Preston's Santa wigs are currently being dried. <laughs> right here, you know, this is this is my life. Those things were disgusting. All right, so we call this my office, but if we're being honest, it is a cold, damp basement. There is a random corner of drywall here. I don't know why or how, but this is where I've actually posted up. It's where I do all my editing. We got a little bed down here forever. So he hangs out of my feet while I do that. Uh, and it really has become kind of my happy place, you know? So I've really enjoyed getting to kind of move in here. This is an old Roku TV that Bailey had in college and I just slapped that thing on the wall because why not, you know? All right, right over here on these really nice Ikea shelves. Uh, these are some of my cameras that I have collected as well as the cameras I'm currently using. My favorite film camera, my lenses, some of my additional second shooters. We're on my first shooter right now. I'd show you that, but we're using it. Uh, this is Stacy. I wrecked her in Moab. You might have seen the video. If not, I'll drop it below right there in the description. Hit subscribe while you're down there. Bailey, show them our program closet. Okay, so this is our program closet where we have all of our Young Life costumes. As you can see, we have the infamous Red Thunder costume up here. Uh, but yeah, this is just, you know, where we pull all of the stuff that we need. Years of work and talent have gone into this. All right, all but right. over here, you will see another impulse buy where Preston and I went to Walmart once again, and we were like, oh, let's buy bikes. That would be so fun to ride around town. And um, we've ridden them twice. less, yeah, less than five times. So, <laughs> so that's good. And if you were at Young Life 2020, you know my most prized possession in this basement is probably my Young Life 2020 name tag. That's right, right here. It says Preston Griffin, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And on top of it is every pin from every camp that you could have collected at the celebration. Me and Bailey both collected all of them. Got a couple silver cliffs, couple star ranches. I mean, we went hard and we went so hard and I was so proud that I actually spent $20 at Disney World to buy this pin trading medal for myself. So uh, keep this here on display just to remind myself of the best week of my life. Okay, let's go out to the cars and the yards this way. Right back here is our little tiny yard here. We've had a few movie nights, some bonfires. We've got our, our uh, fire pit over there, you know? Always, always roasting some mala. And uh, over here we've got our cars, all four of them. Just kidding, we only own two. But uh, Ted owns six, so, you know. Right over here is the Peel Mobile, okay? Born in Faven, North Carolina, but raised right here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, farm to table. We love this car. It is our, <laughs> it's our daily, our daily driver here. If you wanna uh, know the story about the Peel Mobile, you can go to my Instagram, the highlight uh, called Peel. You can hear the whole story Peel. there. There you go. This is my baby. Don't be distracted by our dishwasher out here, okay? <laughs> I know you might be wondering, their outdoor dishwasher just one of the features of our house. Back to the car. This is my baby. Um, her name is Colby, and I've had her since high school, 2011. Um, so she is nine years old, almost 10. My favorite thing about her is that, you know, she's really resisted the rust over the years, but not the bird poop. Uh, we can't get that off. And the, it's a little bit foggy here, but hey, she gets me from point A she to has, point B. She has cataracts, you know, she's getting up there in age, but that's okay. We'll, we'll scrape them one day. No, but seriously, if you're interested in, in outdoor dishwashers, our landlord knows a lot about them. So we'd love to keep you updated on that. Seriously, you can hit them up. It is the next best thing. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by and seeing our beautiful house here, town home, whatever you would call it, apartment. We got a lot of stuff to do today, so we gotta get going, but thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time. We love you so much. Bye. See you, love you, we love you. We seriously love you a ton. We love you so much, we love you. Subscribe. Hi. <laughs> oh, that was that.